Uh, did you know more than half of kidney patients on dialysis are having a special procedure done that gives them more freedom and maybe even a longer life expectancy? A campaign is trying to make even more patients aware of this process. Covering medicine tonight, we meet a local woman who's benefiting in a big way. Three days a week, Claire Price of Knoxville goes in for dialysis. It does the work her kidneys cannot due to damage from cancer. Her blood is taken out of her body and run through a machine, cleansed of toxins, and returned to her system. The process takes four hours each time, but Claire has a positive attitude. Her life in dialysis and out is much easier than before. It certainly has been a life changer for us. She's gone from a catheter inserted in her upper body and abdomen to remove and return the blood to something called a fistula. It's something you can't see because it's inside her forearm. A fistula is where an artery and a vein are surgically connected to create a pathway inside the body for blood to be drawn out and returned. With the increased blood flow, the vein gets larger, making dialysis easier on patients than the traditional catheter. So much easier that Claire, a longtime employee of Kimberly Clark, can do some of her work while in dialysis. I can still work from my chair. I um often have conference calls, work conference calls at while I'm dialyzing. Dr. Donald Akers of Premier Vascular Access and Imaging Center in Knoxville is part of an effort to create more awareness in kidney patients about the benefits and realities of fistulas. They're not perfect, he says, but they're longer lasting and less prone to infection than catheters. What you try to do is minimize the inconvenience to the patients. To not have two tubes protruding from either side of my neck or from my belly. It just, it made such a big difference for me to feel pretty about myself. And uh, it was a, it was great. Really a life changer for her and the Fistula First Breakthrough Initiative started in 2003, the goal of increasing the use of them versus traditional catheters. Dr. Akers says nearly 58% of dialysis patients now have surgery to create the fistula. That's a 25% increase since the beginning of the campaign. To learn more about this, just go to WATE.com.